Welcome to the Restaurant Manager Training for Splitting Checks. For restaurant employees, splitting checks always seems to be a hassle. Restaurant Manager has one of the most user-intuitive split check functionality in the industry. Let's take a look at just how easy it is to split a check with Restaurant Manager. In our first example, we have a check with three customers who have ordered sandwiches and soft drinks. Our customers told us in advance that they would like to split checks. Knowing that split checks will be needed, we ordered our menu items using the seat function at the top of the order entry screen. Now all we have to do is select the split check button at the base of the order entry screen. In the split check screen, we can see that our items are on separate checks. To finish the process, select split check button. On the order entry screen, we can see one beverage and one sandwich in our check display area. We can use the seat buttons at the top of the order to navigate between the check. If needed, we can still add to the order and the new menu items will remain with their assigned seats. Now let's take a look at a scenario where a table tells the server that they want to split checks at the end of the order. We have a check with items pre-rung and all items are assigned to seat 1. We start by selecting split check on the function button at the bottom of the order entry screen. Here we can see all menu items are assigned to seat 1, and there are only two seat columns. Since we will need three split checks, we will add another seat by selecting the Add button on the Function button column to the right. Now we will assign menu items to each seat column simply by selecting each menu item on the Seat 1 column, then tap the seat column we want to assign them to. We will demonstrate this by selecting one of the beverages on Seat 1, then select Column 2. We will repeat this step by selecting one of the sandwiches on seat 1 column and again select the seat 2 column. To demonstrate the intuitive design of Restaurant Manager, we will show another way to add items to a seat. Rather than selecting one item at a time, here we will select both a drink and a sandwich and then select seat 3 column, moving both items at the same time. We will finish the process by selecting the split check button on the function button column to the right. It is common for tables with separate checks to also split items. Let's take a quick look at how Restaurant Manager handles this. We will begin with a table that has four guests with separate seats. We have already assigned the food items to their seats. All the people would like to split the bottle of Penfolds. To accommodate this request, we will select the split item button on the function button column. We will then select the bottle of Penfolds on the seat one column and then select anywhere on the seat two column. Notice the bottle has been split in half. We will continue by selecting columns 3 and then 4. You can see the bottle has been split four ways, indicated by the 1 fourth in front of the bottle of Cabernet. When we are done splitting items, we simply select the split button again to return to the screen to its native state. Now let's take a look at how we can undo a split item while in the process of splitting an item and after. While on the split check screen, we will re-split the bottle of wine. Notice what happens when we select the bottle of wine on seat 4. The bottle of wine is removed from the column and is now split three ways on seat 1 through 3. If we select the bottle of wine again on seat 2, we will see it's now split in half between seats 1 and 3. We will finish by selecting the split item button again. We can use the unsplit item button to remove the split between checks. This may be needed if we accidentally split the wrong items or if the table has changed its mind about the split. Simply select the Unsplit Item button and select the menu item on the seat column that you want the menu item to be assigned to in its unsplit state. In our example, we will select the half bottle of Penfolds on seat 1 column to assign to seat 1. We will select the Unsplit button when we are finished. From here, you can remove the item to another seat or resplit if necessary. A split check on the table screen is colored magenta by default. You can re-enter the check by selecting the table on the POS screen and then select the seat you want to enter. Once in a split check, you can navigate between the checks by using the seat buttons on top of the check display area in the order entry screen. As long as we are in the order entry screen, we will be able to demonstrate how to print a split check. Just select the print button on the function button row at the bottom of the screen and you will see a prompt appear. Select the print all button to print all checks at once select one of the seats to print an individual check. This comes in handy when one of the guests chooses to leave before the others at the table are ready to go and want to settle their check. 
If the need should arise to unsplit an entire check for whatever reason, all you will have to do is re-enter the check, select the seat, and use the unsplit function typically found within the miscellaneous function of the order entry screen.